South Africa kick off their international season against South Americans Uruguay. Jake White will want to match last season's success where they became Tri-Nations champions. Following success in the Southern Hemisphere, England proved a step too far. The Springboks want to rediscover their Tri-Nations form. We're in East London on South Africa's Eastern Cape for this international match between South Africa and Uruguay. So Donald Courtney, the referee, you might remember him from last year. He came on as a replacement when Nigel Thomas pulled a hamstring at Ellis Park and Marius Bear scored a hat-trick of tries and Donald Courtney from Ireland took over as the referee. Dave Pearson and Brett Bowden from Australia. Dave Pearson from England will be the assistants and the television match official today is George Ayob from Australia, well known to South African audiences in terms of Test and Super 12 rugby. The only survivor of the 2000 Test here in East London against Canada, Percy Montgomery of course has moved his points record up to 415 for South Africa. His 62nd Test match today, the fifth most of all time. So South Africa will play from right to left on your screens as you see Shivanga. He's obviously highly motivated playing for South Africa by residential qualification because he's never played for Zimbabwe. Yeah. Rafael Alvarez just in picture there for a moment. They're not a big pack of forwards. They're quite sturdily built. Van der Vesthuizen playing down the middle. Well taken there by uh, Pratasi. He's about the heaviest man in the Uruguayan side. Kampama. That's Del Castillo, the fullback. And so immediately South Africa in the half of Uruguay. And uh, their ability to just to dominate these lineouts. Remember, the tallest man in the Uruguayan pack is 1,9 meters. Now we have. Albert van der Berg, 2,01, Kerry Brits, 2 metres, so they should be in a position to dominate like that. January, van der Vestes and de Villiers making ground, good play, good opener for John de Villiers, and it's carried on well by Tonderai, uh, by Sully Chibalika. Now it's uh, van der Vestes and Ford, Shavanga. oh, and he bounced, nearly fell for him there. As it's tidied up by Baldessari, the left winger of Uruguay. Well, that just bounced up there for Shivanga and could have been a try. It would have been a momentous moment, that try with your first touch in Test Rugby. It was the right option there for Jakob Anavestes, and he was alone on the outside. Little chip forward, Shivanga chasing, but the bounce not favouring the Springbok. Well, look at that scrum by South Africa, so that spells trouble for Uruguay already. South Africa can pick up and go from there, but the referee's saying offside. So it's going to be Del Castillo with the clearance. Good clearance there by Uruguay and Del Castillo. So now the first throw in for Uruguay. It's uh, Juan Perez, the tank like hooker, 1,74 meters at 100 kgs. Just check those shoulders. Now, will they be able to win any line out ball here? And uh, well, it was taken down there by. Guerrero, the only professional rugby player in the side. He plays for Bezier in France. Well, that's a dreadful pass. Has to be tidied up by Pastore. He's done well, has Pastore. Good stepping by him. Gets it away to the number eight, Conti. Brilliant play by Uruguay as uh, Petassi took it on. Campomar, Cafera. Ooh, he could have even opened up there now work for Montgomery. Should be able to 
Just handled this quite comfortably. He's pumped it downfield. It's with Cafera. And works it back to the most experienced forward, Alzueta, the lock forward. Who has played as a reserve and uh, against South Africa in 99 and 2003. Now it's Perez comes bounding into midfield. Good quick ball there from Campamar. Del Castillo. Good defense by Joan de Villiers. Perez. Tackle by Smith. Good build up here as uh, Dalvarez goes in again. Good break up by Uruguay. They would have gained some confidence from this as Kampamar changes tactics and not successfully. It's a pity to ask it, but the Uruguayans did exceptionally well. Fought back from five meters of their own line. And some positive stuff by the men from South America. Poor, poor pass, but they recovered exceptionally well. Good play there by the center, Pastore. And then Conti did very well, the eighth man. Well, Conti's a fiery lad. Kampama, good reading of it by the Uruguayan captain. And a turnover for South Africa, Fandalinda, January. Finds the lob ball to De Villiers. Now it's with Tegla, Mario Super, Montgomery, Shavanga. Now it's a chip and chase, and Mario Super is flying on the inside as Del Castillo gets across to just get there in time for the blue shirts. Now, can they get it back? Mario Super hovers. And a great play there by those South African backs. Mario Super. Chasing beautifully. Good turn over there by the forwards of the South Africans. Then they played wide. Chip forward by Shivanga. He's got pace. Uber is always also there. And trouble for Uruguay and De Castillo. No choice. Try to get over the touch line, but five minutes scrum for South Africa. Well, Jacques Crenier at the back there could be a factor from the scrum. See the weight advantage to South Africa. There goes Crenier. Gets it to Shivanga. Now Jean de Villiers. And uh, nearly burrows his way over January. Well picked up by Van der Verstijs. And beautiful pass from Mario Zuberg. And it is try number nine for the South African centre. Good start by the stream up. What a brilliant pick up by the flyer Van der Verstijs. And he got of the way to that man. He needs no introduction to the try line. First blood drawn by South Africa. And Maurice Joubert, what a great pick-up by the fly of Jakub van and then great take through the gap, and he's over. Well, you just get the feeling of South Africa dominate up front and then move it wide at the correct times. The Uruguayan defences are going to be hard-pressed to stop the onslaught. Percy Montgomery increases his record up to 417 points as Sanyani Shimangi enjoys. Long, long pass, but what a great pickup. And then the gap opens up for Mari Schubert. And on six minutes in the first half, he scores a third try for the main in green and gold. Ferrer with the restart. January. And now Van der Verstehen decides to move it wide. Lovely pass by Montgomery. This is entertaining for the crowd. And just a step too long. I fear there by Mario Super. Just one too many. It's a pity yeah. that ball went through the hands. But I could have been away. Here in judgment there by Mari Joubert, it goes through the hands, little step, good hands by the Villiers as well. They should have passed and Abana could have been gone. You see, just pulled it back one time too many. Would have been very exciting for the crowd to have seen Abana going. Good scrum again by South Africa. Chibalika working hard as the first man to the point of breakdown in the open side flank position. The 
one thing you will notice they're helping of uh, people up off the ground true amateur side is this uruguayan side here goes jacques Renier. move away blue january van der Vestazen. del castillo And that's a pretty good kick by the Uruguayan fullback. Van der Verstaisen quickly for Montgomery. Out wide here is Donny Rousseau. So is Jean de Villiers. A ban on his outside. He could send him away here. The sprint is on. Listen to the crowd. Little tap and go. The bounce is good. And Brian Habana has touched it once and has scored his fourth test try. Pace, plenty of pace, that's what he's got, Abana. But it shows you the ball always beats the man. Great play by the South Africans. As you've said, you, he might just be that man that Jake White's looking for, especially the French coming up and the Tri-Nations. Well, the flag stayed down, so Montgomery unsuccessful. Look at him, perfect timing with the pass, and then pace. Little chip kick. It was always on. No beating that man. Chief Ali Cap. Well determined running by the flanker, January van der Verstaisen. And a big kick in by him, Conti. Has he knocked it on? Yes, says Donald Courtney, the referee. And Conti knows it. I think the other thing is that the Springboks have got to be careful of is that they don't become too loose. They've got to stick to their game plans and uh, just don't throw the ball around for the sake of, of just chucking it about. But the crowd could be entertained to some thrilling rugby here this afternoon and you two at home. January, van der Vestes and Joubert. Here goes Shivanga. Look at this now. Crack on the pace. Oh, he just hesitated a moment. Habana was open, looking for his second. And uh, the turbulent experience there by Tandara Shivanga. Lack of experience, as you said, you he should have maybe cut inside, or Habana should have cut inside. Hang on to the ball too long. And De Castillo takes him with ball and all over the touchline. Yeah, he just needed to straighten and Habana was in for his second. Perez with the throw. Good competition there by Gerry Brits. Count the numbers, please. Numbers incorrect by the South African forwards. Springboks will make it hard for the Uruguayans to win any good balls after the lineup, especially with Rousseau, Gerry Brits and Vandenberg. He has the fullback Del Castillo, Augustine Perez, Del Castillo. We uh, have been told it's okay if we call him Del Castillo. <laughs> Good clearance by the fullback. But South Africa within 10 minutes leading with those two tries. Ritz at the front, Van den Berg in the middle, January, Van der Vestaisen, Dovaliers. See the green jerseys up in support there now. Smith charges at the opposition. Good tackle there by Canessa. You're on the deck, roll away. The tackler not rolling away. John Smith's head hit the ground quite hard there. As the inside center of Uruguay made the tackle. Brave uh, tackle by the center though. John Smith in full flight. But he brought him down, well tackled by Canessa. So John Smith's decision to kick for post was uh, held uh, with a few jeers from the crowd, who uh, obviously want the Springboks just to chuck it about. But I would agree with a the pattern. They've got to settle into a pattern for the upcoming tests next week and the following in Durban and Port Elizabeth against France.
a slight breeze just blowing into Montgomery's face. Just ducking in that right hand upright. And so South Africa moving up to that 15 to nil. We've had less than 15 minutes in the first half. But you're right earlier, you, that uh, the box want to keep this one tight. They want this game to become loose. Do the basics. Let the ball do the work. Move it wide and they will score tries. Well, if they score at a point a minute, we're looking at 80. They scored 76 in Perth in 2003. Chibalika. He's done some good work as the flanker from the Sharks. Van der Westhuizen all on his own out there, but he's found space through his pace. Now on the inside is January. Beautiful pass. Here goes Ricky. They're going to be standing up in Hope Field and cheering now. Great try by the youngster. He was flying on the other side. And he scored a great try. Jakob van der through the gap. Perfect timing to that man. And Nico Nannery made no mistake in the end. Good work by the Flav. Look at him, waiting for support. And perfect timing. And January was away. Pinned his ears back. Good try. Well, it was great work by Van der Verstaisen. Super timing of the pass. January cut in on the pass. Absolutely perfectly. Try on debut. Angle of January ran by cutting inside, caught the opposition defense off guard. Wrong footed them. And the try was on. Montgomery just wide with the conversion attempt. Well, there were five people watching Van der Verstaisen there, and he just went past them with sheer pace. Watch this. Look at all those blue jerseys, Quibus, and then he sized through them. He had some work to do, but look at the angle now. Just cutting inside there, January. And then the race was on, but there was no contest. Interesting to see the galloping Albert van den Berg on his inside as well. Van der Verstaisen. Oh, he's on song with his kick in front of his says, and that's a well-timed boot to touch. Plays his rugby in Japan these days. Club rugby, that is. You tell me he hasn't Blue played ball. since uh, late February, so he's had a very good rest as Jakob van der Verstaisen. Should be a bit of celebration tomorrow to, because Guthrie Stiencom turns 24 tomorrow. Brian Habana turns 22 tomorrow. January, Van der Vestazen. This is on here for Jean de Villiers. Lovely. Well, it was a good idea. He nearly found Montgomery, who was coming into the back line quickly. That long drifting pass by that man, De Villiers. Montgomery couldn't collect it, and a banner overrun it slightly. Perez with the throw. Can he find uh, Pritasi? No, he was going for Al uh, Zueta. Here goes Brian Habana. Oh, beautiful step in by Habana. Move away, Blue Into the Uruguayan Move away, 22, time Chibalika very quickly there, Van der Verstaisen. You bet, it's on here, Montgomery, Chavanya! So two debut tries in a row. Now, what is the situation here? I think George Ayop is going to be asked to make a decision. Now, he's within about three metres of me, Quivers, so I think we'd better keep quiet. <laughs> I'll just quickly step over there and twist his arm. <laughs> Good work by Banner here. Steps inside, outside. Keeps the ball alive. Important. January clears very quickly. All the way to uh, Shivanga. Did he put his foot in touch? Oh, I think he... Did he drop it straight down? Okay, that's fine. He might just have put his foot in touch before he dotted the ball down. 
I think the problem is could he's dropped it. You're right, he also lost the ball. I don't think he can give that try. He's dropped it and he's out. Would be a very tough call if he does allow this try, in my opinion. So he's out. And it'll be a line out five meters from the Uruguayan line. So yet and yet so far for Tundra Shivanga. Fair call by George Ayup, the team out. Perez with the throw. Alvarez is number seven. They go deep to uh, Guerrilla. He is that uh, Biarritz so flank out to Hands out, green. Uh, Hands out green. being the only Hands out professional. Green. Kampama did have uh, the time, in fact, it was Kefera, the fly half, who had a time with uh, Champagnat in France, as did Baldassari, the left wing, but they are back in Uruguay as amateur rugby players. Well, again, the dominance of that line out here goes that Jacques Crenier gets rid of away, one tackle. man. It was Severa, the loose head prop. Lovely hands by John Smith. Release January. Danny Rousseau. Switch of play by South Africa and Rousseau. Just gallops in for each try. He's first of the game. And the points keep on rolling. Look at Cronier, just runs over one, two of the Uruguayans, keeps it alive. Switch of play by January, great hands by John Smith. And January again follows up, and then a right timing to the loose forward. And he makes no mistake, Rousseau. Good setup here by South African forwards. Kept the momentum going, and a great clear by January, who was involved twice, got the pass there from John Smith. Perfect timing. Good finish. Well, Donny Rousseau was the only player, Kubis, to play in 2003 against Uruguay. Scored a try then. John Smith did come on as a reserve in that game. Beautiful hands there by John Smith. Box had meant to spare. Shivanga was on the outside of Rousseau, but he didn't need him. Really, the Uruguayans at this stage. Well, they are uh, out seriously outgunned, and this uh, we now start looking to the record books. 101 0 against Italy is the record score by South Africa in a test. January thriving in this uh, environment of dominance here. I should think we'll see all seven reserves get a run today I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that would be an ideal situation for Jake White to make use of his full bench must be the first time this game that Uruguayans are on the half of South Africa can they get some sort of ball at all? Oh, and no, they've messed it up. Bocking by the hooker Perez. Let's have it quicker, please. Well, the Springboks have spread out wide here in support as John Smith leads the charge. Gathro Stienkamp, his first touch of the game. Scrummed well. Done the basics as required but then accidental offside this is where 
They have to be a little bit careful that they don't all line up to score tries. 25-0. There's the, the clock's gone down. <laughs> Here, fellas, please. Just before kickoff, I was reading an article in the East London Sorry, paper okay. that uh, here, said please. there was a clamour for tickets and they'd have a capacity nine and a half and thousand eight. crowd here, but there's not nearly that Stay, in the ground now. Picked up there by Conti. Del Castillo, the fullback, uh, no, swamped Stay immediately. There. Stay there. Stay there. Stay green. Perez, and it's an also a dreadful pass as he gets it to Pitassi. Stay there. Stay there. That's okay. Kampama. All over him there was uh, Dalbert van den Berg. Really, the only thing Uruguayans can do now is try and slow things down. That's what they penalized for, holding on to the man with the ball on the ground, not releasing. Well, Jakob van der Westhuizen is now kicking straight towards us. We're situated between the try line and the 22 of Uruguay. And that's a useful kick. Good pressure there by Albert van der Berg. But South Africa on the attack once again. Well, the temptation here, I think, Krubis would be to catch. No, I was going to say more, but it goes to January, de Villiers. Big hit there, January again, Stian Kamp. Move away, hands out, block! So this could not be a more ideal position for them to be scrumming in. Options all over the place. Wide right, wide left, straight down the middle if they want to. Good solid right shoulder needed by the Springboks here to provide that good ball for the backs. Here goes January van der Vestes and oh, beautifully picked up by Shivanga. What a great pick up by the right winger. So he gets his try on debut. Second time round, it goes his way, Shivanga. Long pass for van der Vestes, and, but the pick up was just awesome. Oh, brilliant. Kept his eye on the ball, and he's over on his debut for a good try. Long pass, drifting pass by Van Avestesen, but that man Shivanga had some work to do. He picked it up brilliantly from his from the ground on his toes, and he was over. Well, now Percy's kicking at less than 50% at the moment. So he will want to just uh, up that up a little bit. Well, that's drifting away. A little bit of a breeze here today. East London's never the easiest stadium, this Apsa Stadium, to kick in. 30 points to no after 25 minutes. But just look at this pickup. Brilliant pickup by Shivanga. Jakob van der Westhuizen to get in his hands above the tackle well. Tandara Shivanga saw him in Dubai when the Stormers were there playing against the Gwent Newport Dragons uh, as a warm-up game and he came across the room and uh, very politely greeted me. Charming young man. January. Van der Westhuizen. Baldessari had very little possession. Now, oh, good tackle by Shivanga. Good and low. Kampama. Kanesa. He's looked uh, sort of the pick of the backs, really, for the Uruguayans. As uh, has Pastore, the outside centre has been there as well. Now, the overlap is on here. Good timing by De Villiers. Here goes Sabana. Can he get past his... Oh, he just looked at him. He looked at him and breezed past.
There is just no substitute for pace. And that man has got plenty of that in his, the tank. What a try. Just beat the man with blistering pace through the hands. He should have had a look at him, Kourbis, and then said, hold on a second, I don't need to swerve, sidestep or anything. I can outrun that fullback, Castelio. Good to see the box have a winger again that can beat the man on the outside with pure pace. Montgomery successful with the conversion. It's a good pass by Yobe. Look at him. Sami looking at his options. Just a slight inside out. And he goes around for his second try. So in his fourth test match, Brian Habana now has five tries to his name. To saluting Albert van den Berg there. January van der Westhuizen. Well, with their put, I think the Uruguayans have won one line out in the first 27 minutes of the game, Kubis. And they're about as deep as they've been in all game into the Springbok half with uh, their ball. 64% of the territory South Africa have had. Well, Kafira just running into the big men there. Can Uruguay produce the ball? Oh, but fun and back. You heard the referee say, get out of there, five. And uh, fun and back, he moved to the ball. That's small on the left. Jake White, probably uh, pretty relaxed and analytical at the moment. So Del Castillo is now going to kick for goal. Trying to get that more going, the Uruguayans, and then Alvinaberg from the wrong side just poached the ball. But the ref says you're not getting away with that, my friend. Augustine Perez de Castillo, the fullback of the Uruguayans, will try and see if he can put his team on the board going on for 30 minutes in this game and already South Africa leading by those 37 points to none. Well, it's a pretty good kick and then Uruguay on the board. After 30 minutes, it's still good to see that the box keep to their pattern within their own 22. Van der would kick the ball out, keep to the basics, and that's important, especially in a type of game like this. Well taken there by Canessa. Del Castillo. And Kampamad has made a hash of it. The little Uruguayan captain was outside his 22. Well taken there by the Uruguayans, driving it forward. But unfortunately, the scrum are putting it directly into touch. Van der Berg, January, Van der Vez, Tyson, Joubert, De Villiers, Montgomery, well, Brian Habana a little slow in coming up there from the left wing position. January, Joubert. Oh, it's a beautiful off lay. Castro Stienkamp. And that's his first try in Test Rugby. And don't they love scoring tries? Prop forwards, good one. Great pass. Offload to that man. And he powered on for a good try. January to you bad. He was looking for support. And then Gathrestyunkam 
comes flying through, no stopping the big man. Nearly burst the ball. <laughs> Great try. So just over half an hour gone and South Africa have 44 points. Maurice Joubert coming in through that short one and then Gatwa come. great support play by the prop forward and he finishes well. So seven tries on the board already, the most South Africa have, over, have scored in a test match, 15 against Wales. Remember that day at Loftus and uh, 15 against Italy in Durban. So seven they were within reach of that sort of record. January, Van der Verstaisen, they're deciding to run this. De Villiers, great backing up by Van der Verstaisen. Joubert, the sprint could be on here for her banner. Oh, and it's good defence by the Uruguayan, I beg your pardon, the Uruguayan fullback Del Castillo. Well covered this time by Del Castillo on Nabana. Chaperone him into touch. Well, Conti going high, but it goes there for Alzueta. Move away, Green Six, move away. Kampamar, Kafera. Well, it's good defence by the South Africans there, allowing the Uruguayans nowhere to move. Perez, he's smothered immediately. Kampamar, Kafera, Alzueta. Hands out. Advantage. First. Well, uh, Sully Chibalika was right up there. He's been up in support all the time, that man there. And uh, he uh, just tried to whip that out, but unfortunately, one of the Uruguayans was in the way. So it's still South Africa's ball. Good scrum by Uruguay, putting on a bit of pressure. South Africa need to concentrate. Great stepping by January. You're bad. And it was. Uh, Dugonchik and oh, oh, oh no, the referee looked up at the touch judge and got the call there. <laughs> Look at that. Always a smile of relief. <laughs> well taken by Obey, the one-handed pass. But then the Uruguayans get hold of the ball. It might just have gone forward there from Dani Rousseau's hand. Dugonchik, that right winger for Uruguay. Also, he's going to have a birthday tomorrow, so three players on the field. He'll be 20 tomorrow as Jacques Crenier sets it up again for January. Van der Verstaisen, it's three on two here. Joubert, Montgomery. Well, South Africa should have scored there on the three on two situation. Dani Rousseau keeps it on, uh, well, he keeps it in field. It's, uh, just got a little bit scrappy with a very clear overlap for the Springboks there and they couldn't make it count. That's the sort of thing Jake White will be analysing now more than the score. Absolutely, it should have been a try Montgomery should they ball have gone down the line. Wrong option by Percy Montgomery. Great pass by Yubeba but then, then wrong option by Montgomery. That ball should have gone through the hands to Shavanga. Well, here goes Shivanga. Move away, move away, hands out. Yes, holding here. But uh, holding on, on feet, right, still, in the tackle. So good work by the Uruguayans on defence there. South Africa's not clearing that ruck properly. Shivanga had to hang on to that ball longer than allowed. And the penalty for Uruguay. Del Castillo. And is that out? No, well taken by Montgomery. Shivanga, Van der Vestaisen. Joubert on his outside. 
Now finds Jean de Villiers, Habana. He needs to step here. He straightened his man up. Great work by Cadel Castillo and by Van der Westhuizen and by Albert van den Berg. Sonny Chibalika gets his try. He scored on debut against Scotland and he gets his second try in Test Match Rugby. Great support play by that man, Chibalika. He's been all over this afternoon, quick to the point of breakdown. But through the hands again, the ball beats the man. Good work by Abana. He keeps it alive. Van der is there again. Pick up by Van der Berg. Well played by the lock forward. But Tibilika follows up and he dots down. Really no answer when the box attack. They keep it alive. Good play. Good handling skills. And Tibilika, he turns and he scores. Well, Albert van den Berg right up there in support. And now Monty has the conversion for the half century plus one. And it, it is wide and short. So the eighth try for the Springboks. He's had plenty of ball this afternoon at Banner. De Villiers getting into the winger. He beats the first man. Get, keeps it alive and a vest isn't it very well but what a pickup by Albert van der Berg and Soli Chibilika powered over for a good try also very aware of where the try line was Chibilika there well they're going to have to sort that out there have been a little few uh, blips there in terms of fielding the kickoffs which you can't do against the likes of France. Del Castillo. Up comes Montgomery. He can counter here. And he has Van der Vestes and CJ Van der Linde, Shavanga. Look at the stride in the man. Oh, this is brilliant. This is like a cult in full flight. <laughs> And the floodgates have really opened. Uruguay really no match whatsoever. And that man on the wing, plenty of pace. Great play by Gathra Stiankam. He offloads to Shivanga. Steps inside. Wrong foots the opposition. Nobody in front of the winger to score his second try. Well, look at the look at the stride on the young lad. And really good to see, but uh, not great to see at side getting a hiding now as Montgomery. Good glue play there by CJ van der Linde. He did very well, the winger. Stepped inside, created some space for himself. And in open space with his pace, there's no stopping the winger. Here is so, try scorer, Van der Beesthausen has distributed very well, as has Jean de Villiers. And it's been a nine try romp for South Africa as they lead. As an embattled Uruguay kickoff. That's a good take by Albert van den Berg. Quick support from Chibalika. He has it at the back of the mall. I'm sure that Jake White gave them a lecture on sticking to their pattern and uh, concentration. January, Van der Verstaisen, Montgomery. Del Castillo has some work to do here. The pounds just eluding him a couple of times and he stepped out into touch. And uh, I must say, one of the things that uh, has been noticeable today is that Percy Montgomery hasn't quite been on song with his kicking. Hasn't had the greatest day with the boot, as you said, uh, in the conversion and penalty department. But South Africa leading comfortably with those 56 points to three. Well, they immediately set themselves up for a try scoring position here. Jacques Cronier going uh, battering forward. 
January, Smith, Drusseau, January again, now it's Van der Westhuizen. January goes into shield the ball, offside by Uruguay, penalty in front of the post. What will John Smith do? Well, he was looking around to perhaps go. CJ van der Lunde hasn't scored a test try, he's number three. Stian Kamp now has. Good option by John Smith, they're taking the scrum again. Could attack both sides of the field, the Springboks, good position on the field. It may again be a situation where Jacques Trenier goes from the back of the scrum. There we go. And there goes Jacques Trenier. Oh, he just canters in for try number 10. Must be one of the easiest tries that he scored in his career. Just picked it up, handed off one of the defenders. And he just gallops in for a try. Little dummy pass. Poor defense by Uruguay. But the big man scores his first of the game. Successful conversion by Montgomery. The points keep on rolling for South Africa. Well, the other thing is, of course, uh, that we're running out of paper to write the score down on for the number of tries. So it's try number 10. I suppose the most entertaining thing to do if you're at home or sitting in a, a pub or something is to start betting on how many tries the Springboks would score. Good take by Gerry Brits. Chibalika back in position again. He's doing the basics well. Bargy going on, and it's Conti, the number eight, who's getting a bit frustrated. Green didn't invite her, yeah. like that. Okay. He just came through with just a little Number eight, please. Back you go, fellas, please. Advice from Brett Bowden. That wasn't provoked. Touched your sword, I saw it. Calm down. It's okay, but Let's not do it again. again. That's okay. From the, from back, back you go. Back you go. Okay. Okay. Yes. Back you go. Thank you. I'm not sure that they know what provoked means. Not at all. There was a lot of yeses and noes, and then everybody understands between the Irish accent and the, the Spanish. But something worried Conti. Nearly dropped with a right hook. Bit of a tussle between him and CJ from the limit. John Smith. January. Sian Kamp. Look at the man go again. Oh, do we still going? January. Oh, and they've uh, made a hash of it up, the Springboks. No, but the Uruguayans are offside. That's Kenny Brits is nearly in for a try as well. The Stian Cup was... Can't exactly say flying, can you? <laughs> he, well, he would love that. He's a problem. Rumbling. <laughs> rumbling for the line. He's powering on. For, uh, powering on. Yeah. Gathro Stian Cup and short inches from the line. Look at him. Just runs through one tackle, two tackles, still going just short of the line. In fact, Jakob van der Westhuizen stopped him from getting his second try. I'm sure Guthrie will have a word with his fly off later on. But still CJ van der Linde <laughs> and a couple of the Uruguayans just uh, exchanging telephone numbers. Stay nine, stay nine. January, good little dummy by the shop. Great off late to Chibalika and... Uh, well, now Donald Courtney was right there. And he's going to ask for a, for a television match official decision. Some more work for George Ayub. Will this be the second try for Soli Chibilika? 
Can't see from that angle. Very simple. The TMO can only give the try or allow it if he can see the ball clearly ground. Well, yeah, I think that's a try. I think his hands on it. That's fair. I think the ball. I think it might just be ground. awarded. Goes over and then sort of twists out of the tackle. Soli Tibilika. From the previous angle, looked like he got the ball down. Look, now he twists out of that tackle. There we see the ball. You can see he's got his hands on it. He's got his right hand on the ball. Timo just making sure of his call. That's probably the best angle, but the sun just uh, distorted it a little bit. So Sully Chibalika gets his second try. The other thing, of course, is that Jacques Ferry is down up there on the left wing. Conti was there to try and stop the flanker, but he twisted and turned out of that tackle, and he got the ball down. Second try for Chibalika. Last time these two sides played in Sydney, South Africa put 72 points on the board, and they will surely pass that score. Oh, that's a good kick by Monty. So the score goes up to 17. January breaking inside, short little pass to his flanker. He goes over and eventually gets the ball down. So Jacques Ferry getting a run there in place of Brian Habana. There's the man. As he wins, uh, what is it now, his ninth test cap. He'll be looking to get a little bit of ball. Jacques Ferry, an exciting runner. January, Van der Verstehsen. Del Castillo. Did he handle that ball outside his 22? It's got to be a line out on the 22 meter line. Good call, Mr. Bladen. Well spotted. Got the ball, then lost control. But rightfully so, carried it over. So one more try by the Springboks to equal the number they scored against the Uruguay and Perth. Good leap there by Jacques Trenier. January. Chibalika. January. The nuggety fellow is Ricky January. And all getting a little bit uh, on the loose side. Jacques Free was so far the only substitute by Jake White. It looks like Joe Fanica will be the next. Yeah, they're all uh, going to get a run, I reckon. Kubis, look at that big scrum by South Africa. And well, he was almost pushed out of the scrum there, Silveira. <laughs> well, you can hear that uh, as the referee says, in front row standing up under pressure. Interesting decision by John Smith to go for touch. Good pressure scrum there. And then popping up the loose head prop of Uruguay. Uruguay.
Afghans getting there quite slowly. Kelly Brits. Look at the mall here. South Africa moving up to the five meter line and over. Chibalika has got his hands on it. Could this be his hat trick? Not too many, I'm sure, too how many flank forwards have scored hat tricks in tests, but just bundled out there by the scrum half and captain. Campomar, who've hardly called their, their, any of their backs because they just are not getting the ball. Uruguay. Tsubilika going for that line, but absolute desperate defense by the Uruguayan captain. In my memory, no flank has scored a tap trick of tries in Test rugby quarters. Don't know whether you know differently. Well, it's well taken by Kerry Brits. Van den Berg. January, Van der Westhuizen. Well, this is the area where they have to be a little bit careful about uh, messing it up. Great pick up by Jean de Villiers. Really superb skills there by the inside centre. January, Van der Westhuizen, Van der Linde, Van der Westhuizen. Now it's with Marius Juppert. And Monty throws it wide. Tandarai Shivanga canters in for his hat trick. Remember, Braden Porsa scored a hat trick on debut in Port Elizabeth against Italy. Ball. And uh, Shivanga has his hat trick. Again, the ball doing the work, playing it wide as South Africans. Great pass, but look at this pickup. He's got so much natural skills. Jean de Villiers. His power's on, keeps it alive. Right little switch there by uh, CJ van der Linde and then good pass by Mari Jobe. It put that man away, Shivanga, for his third try of the game. Well, it's wide by uh, Percy. So he had an opportunity to, to rearrange the record books. Marius Super. That's actually a lovely pass, Corvus. Right, a little drifting pass to Shivanga. And he just runs around to score his third try. Well, here they come. Great the roar from the crowd as Brent Russell, who went to school here at Selborne, comes onto the field. There's, there could be some really electrifying stuff from Brent Russell if he gets enough of the possession there he is he certainly beefed up has Brent Russell and as he showed in the Barbarians game last week has lost none of his agility or pace and the rest of the boys are here as well Joe Fanica goes to run is on in fact I'm trying to find a reserve who is not on there's uh, Farida, yeah, they're all on, I think, Kruber says, Hanyani Shimangi. Joan Smith says, Joe Fanica, Farida Priya, Os Durant, and Brent Russell, Jacques Free came on it off just after half-time. But everybody getting a run this afternoon. Well, be interesting to see if South Africa just uh, keep their uh, rhythm now with all those seven new guys on. Good take there from Alvarez. At last, Uruguay get the ball. Can they get it past the fly half? That's a big question. No, they can't get it past the scrum half so far. Conti. <laughs> Got a competitive number eight, Conti. They're just totally outgunned here, oh, the Uruguayans. Conti tags quickly. Off he goes. Can't get past uh, Danny Rousseau, who may not have been 10 metres back, but they've made some ground. Kampama gets it to uh, Alzueta. Twice has encountered South Africa before, once as a replacement and once as a starter. Here goes a lovely break here by Kafira. And it's out for uh, Dugonjic. Well, look at that the aggression and uh, shape of that tackle by Shivanga. 
And now Ben Russell. Here he goes. And he lays it off. And Jean de Villiers will get the touchdown. First time that the Uruguayans put something together. It all ends in tragedy for them. First by a great defensive tackle by Shivanga. And then the breakaway by the Springboks. End of de Villiers scoring a try. Look at this. Brilliant. Drives with the legs. Picks his man up. And takes him back a few yards. Russell is there like a little terrier. Gets it away to Jean de Villiers. And he just strides in for a try. Well, that's the third most points ever scored by South Africa in a test match. They now are aiming for 96, which they put against Wales in Pretoria back in 1998. Jakob van der Verstezen, having taken over the kick-in, is bang on target. Great tackle by Shivanga. And like a flash, Russell's on that ball, picks it up, and then overwhelming support by the green and gold. Plenty of men to get that ball, but the Villiers, in the end, finishing off well. Tony Rousseau, he's now moved into that lock position. Well, look at the try by the South Africans as Fanica plays it back for Dupriere. Rousseau, Yaga Shavanga. It's always good stepping, good cover tackle there by Kafera. Osturan takes it on. Now it's Fried Dupriere gets a beautiful pass to Van der Vestazen for John Smith. And picked up there, Jacques Cronier rips the ball away. So, relief for Uruguay. One would expect that the Springboks may just lose a little bit of rhythm here. Shivanga again gets the ball. Inside, steps outside, back inside. Pops it up to Os. Durant, but in the end, Jacques Renier been penalised for holding on too long on the ground. It just got away from Farid Priyate from the kick. He did well, Jacques Grenier, to get that ball and drive it up, but then not clearing well enough the forwards. The Uruguayans just really praying through the second half. They've also uh, brought on one or two reserves, one of whom has a number 23 jersey on his back which we don't have uh, on our lists anywhere. Conti meets the full might of the Os. Good drive this by the Uruguayans. As uh, another player who's on there is uh, Peru, one of the forwards. Well, let's hope that this doesn't become uh, an all-in wrestling match. The Uruguayans look like they're getting a little frustrated at the hiding they're taking. One can't really blame them, they've completely been outgunned in all phases. It's really like an international side playing a club side, no disrespect to them. But they've really been outclassed completely. Now that man there, number three, Storres. Guillermo Storres has also encountered the South Africans both times, uh, in fact, as a reserve in 99 and in 2003 in those two World Cup games. Joan Smith, Joe Fanica on the flanks. Young Jacques Trenier, what a loose trio that is as Farida Priya tries to grab the ball. Remember, Farida Priya today is winning his 14th Test Cup and all 13 of his previous tests were last year Trunia, Dupria, De Villiers good tackle by Kampama leading by example 
van der Verstaisen. Here goes Russell. Has he got to beat him over his man? Yes, he has. Looks on the inside. He beat the right winger, winger Dugonjic. And here goes Dani Rousseau. Where's the support? There it comes. Farida Priya. Van der Verstaisen. Lovely little touch. All of Carlos Spencer. Joe Fanica. Marius Jabad. Oh, big tackle there, and still it's kept alive by Joan Smith, and Albert van Ambach gets his third test try in 26 test matches, and they're all been against Uruguay. 19 minutes in the second half, and yet another try for the box, this time Albert van Ambach. But look at Russell, he's got pace, backs himself on the outside and steps inside, Keeps the ball alive, important. And they're lining up on the inside, the South Africans. Joe Fonica did well, look at him, stepping well. Well balanced runner, keeps the ball in the air. But a big tackle on John Smith, he keeps it alive. John Smith's in there. And in the end, with a little dummy, Albert van der Berg scores a try. the ball stuff that we don't need. You've come in without, without any arms, and you've reacted. Don't do it again. Thank you. Back you go, please. That man uh, Conti again. Yeah, Conti <laughs> and Al Zueta. Huge Blind hit. Side tackle that. With the shoulder, not using the arms. He's a bit lucky there, Al Zueta. But I think it's a lot of frustration out there for these boys from Uruguay. 87 points on the board, and there's still more than 20 minutes to go in this game. That's the frightening part. Important now, very important, is that Jake White's men must keep their cool, stick to the basics, just play towards the ball. No, oh, that's another one that's bang slap in the middle. Two tries today, Tibilika. Question in this game now, as you said earlier, you is that not the score, but how they've won. The South Africans that the coaches will look at. Their basic performance in the scrums, lineouts, kickoffs, support play. Those will be scrutinized after this game. Well, they'll be fun about with quite a nice sad looking dummy there. More of the Uruguayan reserves have come onto the field. So South Africa now within sight of that 15 try record. Strong work by Van Amberg, Dupria, Grenier. Dupria again, Van der Westhuizen. Work here for Del Castillo again. It's not a bad idea, just keep the pressure on, keep your rhythm going. And find yourself on television if you're here. That man has kept the ball in front of his forwards. His options has been good this afternoon. Although the opposition was very poor to say the least. But he's made some good options and decisions. Well, another two Uruguayan reserves coming on. Ibabaru, who is number 17, number 22 is uh, Sebastian Ramos. A beautiful day this afternoon in East London. It really has with a very smooth plan right down here. That's good ball for Alvarez, the number seven flank cut. Campomar and declared by Del Castillo. The South Africans on the attack within the 22 of Uruguay. They put in Shimangi, Fanamberg, Tirat. Dupria, Fanica, Dupria, Van der Westhuizen, Russell, Shivanga on his outside. And Shivanga gets number four. What is the most tries ever scored by a South African? 
it is Stefan de Blanche with five. That man's one short of that. His fourth try this afternoon on his debut for the screen box. Well, Stefan de Blanche scored four against Ireland on his debut. But uh, this is an easy run in for Shivanga. Picked up well by Russell. Great timing of the pass. Shivanga dots down for his fourth. So that equals now the 15 tries that the box scored against Wales in 98 and against Italy in 99. One more for the most tries ever scored in 114 years. Well, good with two out of two, and I think he's quite enjoying this. And just fades away. Good into play there by Frieda Pri and Joe Fenikeg, and then long pass. Picked up by Russell, and he puts away the winger. Fun and back, he's done the basics well, as did uh, Sully Chibali Cap. Shimongi in possession at the back of the mall. Krunia to Priyad. Now where's Shivanga? There he goes. Now this could be number five. Oh, look, he laid it off to Albert van den Berg. That is incredible. That is the record that has been broken. But Tondurai Shivanga showed great unselfishness there. Stirring into a massacre. 99 points, 15 minutes to go in this game. Good break by Farida Priya. Inside, played by Jacques Grenier. Looks for support, the scrum half gets it to Shivanga. He weighs up his options, Albert van der Berg, great support play by the lock. And he scores a second try. Well, the Jaco van der Verstaisen has converted that try to take the score up to 101. So that is equally in the record. Now in the World Cup 2003, I can tell you that we did the England-Uruguay game, Kubis, and England scored 111 points against them. Funny cap. Oopsie. Recovers pretty well. Taken forward by John Smith. And Farida Priya penalised. Just a bit of obstruction there. Shimangi obstruction play by the hooker. Picked up by the referee. The scoreboard is not used to these big scores. It shows that Africa's got one. <laughs> there it is. So Kefera just putting him into an attacking position here, Uruguay. Can they do anything with it? Another replacement comes on. And uh, just see if they can't get a line up ball. Well, it's uh, Al Zueta who eventually caught it, but it wasn't in straight. Very disappointing for the men from South America. Of course, Uruguay just uh, north of Argentina, the east coast of South America. Crenier, Dupria, Del Castillo. Well, now he's going to try and gain ground. Farid appears there. It was a good kick. Oh, lovely pass by Farida Pries. Saw, saw some Uruguayans were there. Now it's Van der Vestas and looking for support. Look at this. It's Jacques Ferry. 
who takes South Africa into an all-time high score. All turning into a bit of a cricket game. Panavesta is there with a great quick train by Farid Apriya. Split the defence wide open by that man, Farid. Great angle with pace came through and he scored a brilliant try. Great inside steps. Steps again for Navesta. He's a bit looking at it. Brilliant behind his back pass. Jacques Free was there. And this man really wanted to score a try and he did just that. There was support from all over for the Springboks. Good little pass. And then Free was on his way. It's now 108. And we still have about 12 minutes left in the game. This is uh, really now, as Quib has said, a, a cricket score. And it's unfortunate to see players getting a hiding like this. But one thing we're going to have to say is that South Africa have kept their shape like this. Juan Smith. Now, can he get it away? And look at this. It's Marius Juppert who gets it away, and it's Jean de Villiers who gets his second try. Good play by Jean Smith here, but plenty of support. Keeps the Uruguayans busy. Still going, Jean Smith. Weighing up his options. And then Jean de Villiers, happy to scoop it up and score yet another try for South Africa. Really, the Uruguayans have no answer whatsoever. One-way traffic it has been from the kickoff. Well, I think John Smith has now decided they won't take conversion, so the score can sticks at 113 to Priya Russell this could be interesting oh well, he opens it up well, Jean, Jean de Villiers has shown a couple of really good pieces of skill today and that in, the, in analysis now one must just say that I think the Springboks have done pretty well to keep their pattern and uh, their concentration going you know people are talking about if you win by 60 points you uh, you're on a hiding to nothing because if you win by 50 or 60 points people are going to be disappointed but uh, to have really done this uh, is uh, i think commendable you i have to play these games sorry Quibus. i agree with you 100 percent south african rugby has been criticized the past that compared to the all blacks they don't go for the so-called kill but they've done that today. Unfortunately, Uruguay on the receiving end. But 115 points on the board, nine minutes to go. Good show by South Africa. Well, in fact, they did take that conversion. That's why it's 115 to 33. And the other thing, of course, is that it is uh, eight, now 18 tries. Oh, that's a shove over scrum. Free de Prier. Jacques Ferry gives chase. And uh, just a bit of uh, relief for both uh, sets of players, actually. Big scrum by South Africa. Just crunching that Uruguayan pack of forwards. And that rolling kick by Free de Prier. must have come off the off a Uruguayan foot because Shimangi with a throw, Duprier, Cronier. Duprier again, Shimangi, Duprier. Oh, look at this as they keep the ball alive for Jacques Ferry, Ferry Duprier. Wonderful ball there from Van der Verstijs and Van Niekerk ripping the ball free and uh, lays it off for Brent Russell. That was super play. Marius Schuppert, and there we go. That's the record is equaled. Stefan de Blanche's record is equaled by Tundra Shivanga.
Well done, Mari Jabe. Could have scored that try easily himself. But he played Shibanga inside. Another try by that man, Shibanga. Tofanike rolling out of the tackles, keeping it alive. Good pass to get it away to Russell at the right time. Jabe could have really scored on his own. But he played his teammate Shibanga on the inside, who dotted down. Well, the most tries ever scored in a Springbok jersey, if my memory is correct, is Roy Dreiberer, somewhere in Australia back in 1955, with six tries. But look at this, Mario Chabert, very unselfish. And, uh, well, you learn that at Paul Jim, eh, Quivis? Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that that will probably win Tandarai Shivanga the Man of the Match award. So it's embattled Uruguayan side that will uh, kick off. I hope they're probably just hoping this kick off for the last time because they've kicked off now. This will be the 20th time, 21 times they've kicked off today. Funny Kark. Looking a bit slimmer, Joe. Dupria, good hands by Rousseau. Here goes Brent Russell. Oh, and it was nearly an interception there for uh, Sebastian Ramos. Brent Russell might have been a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> Ramos saw that one coming and he was going for glory. The long pass. And then nearly, nearly the interception try by the Uruguayans, but he couldn't control the ball. Fundaverste is and it's open here. Brent Russell is flying, and uh, is Fundaverste isn't going to go on his own. Yes, I think he is. Jaco Fundaverste is and says, "I need to get on the scoreboard," and uh, he does so. Well, too much skill, too much pace, too much power. And uh, Uruguay have no answer. Look at the support players there. Jacques Ferry was up, so was Brent Russell, so was Shivanga. And Jakob van der Westeis. Well, let's have a look, see, he scored, that's his fifth try in Test Match Rugby. Pretty well as Jakob van der Beer says, and he's missed one out of six. I would say it would be pleasant relief if Donald Courtney blew full time right now. Not sure whether they're allowed to do that in terms of international rugby ball laws, but uh, they're, they're unimpressed, the coaches. They say, well, this should have happened. But uh, I'm sure there will be some satisfaction as uh, Jakob van der Westhuizen, who's distributed and controlled the game very well today. Dupria. Van der Westhuizen. Dupria goes again. Russell. I'm sure Brent Russell will be looking to try and get on that scoreboard. Here goes Osterrand. Lovely ball by John Smith and Albert van der Berg. Can it be try number six for Tonda right, Shivanga? It could be. This could be it. Off he goes. Off he goes. Rewriting the record books. Try number six. Play by both Thorst Durant and John Smith, and for that matter, Albert van den Berg. But here we go, Joe van der Kick just carried it 
long enough for Shivanga to be in open spaces. Conversion was good. We're up to 134 points. And uh, it would be welcome relief if this game ended now. There he is, the man of the match with a new record of six tries in a test match for South Africa, Rousseau. Move away, Blue. Still the Uruguayans defend manfully, van der Vestesen. Good pick up there by, well, it was uh, Kampamar who came across. Hands up, Green, hands up, Green. Stay up, Green, stay there. Alzueta. Now, what's on here for uh, any of these Uruguayan players is Van der Vestas and Jean de Villiers get involved in the defending. Woo, and it's a big tackle by Jean Smith on uh, Alvarez. Just uh, over a minute to go. Surely this is going to be the last scrum of the game. Well, you can see this, Joan Smith still aggressive in the tackle, and he drives Alvarez into this uh, East London turf. Cronier, Dupria, Russell. Shivanga goes in well, still concentrating, penalty South Africa. The other situation now that Jack White doesn't want is an injury. Dupria Smith over the top for Joan Smith. It's all getting very loose. Good skills by Farid Dupria. Jacques Farid. He's big, he's strong, he's quick. Low flag to Danny Rousseau. Dupria, Van der Tyson. De Villiers. Now here goes Jacques Trenier. And it was forward. That's it. That's that's the final relief for the Uruguayans. 18, 19, 20, 21 tries. Well, it looks like a cricket score. Uruguay had no way of stopping the South African juggernaut. Records have tumbled, including Tondurai Shavanga becoming the first player ever to score six tries on debut. Comment from Dick Best and Andre Sneeman coming up.